Here is another example of a general result concerning expectation. Given a random variable x, and notice it could be discrete or it could be continuous, a real constant c, and some function g of the random variable x, then the expected value of c times g of x is equal to c times the expected value of g of x when the expected values exist. The proof once again is in the continuous case. The discrete case would have these two integrals replaced by summations. The expected value of c times g of x is, and here is the expected value of c g of x. We know that because we have a continuous random variable, the support can be anywhere from minus infinity to infinity, and we want to integrate because it's continuous c times g of x gets placed out front of the probability density function f of x dx. Notice that c can get pulled outside of the integral. The remaining integral is g of x f of x and from the previous result you know that that is the expected value of g of x so that gives a proof to the result.